Hello and welcome to the S33 Electrical Channel. My name is Sam and today we're doing an important video or at least I feel like it's an important video. Uh, we're going to be talking about PPE gear that I use to keep myself safe and protected while doing electrical work. Um, and the way that I really feel about it is that when I was coming up in my apprenticeship, no one was really there to be a strong mentor to kind of tell me, hey look Sammy, check it out. You got all this stuff right here. You want to be protecting yourself. Uh, no one was really there to tell me that, so that's what this whole video is about. I just want to uh, maybe have a shot to, especially with the young men out there that are just getting started, to, to kind of go over this so that way uh, maybe you can live another extra three to ten years on your life, depending on, you know, what the, there's other factors and subjective, but um, I think that if you do take care of yourself, you watch what you're breathing in, take care of yourself, you could probably live maybe ten years longer than you would have if you didn't. Uh, but it's subjective and uh, no one really knows. See, like I could be, you can, you got people out there that they take care of themselves. They eat, you know, they eat a good diet, they exercise, they do everything and then get in a car accident and their life's cut short just like that. And then you got people who smoke and drink and uh, eat fast food and they make it to 80. So uh, it's a funny thing, nothing is guaranteed in this world or in life. But uh, I want to, uh, I just want to get started. I want to show you what, what, what I use. Um, this is a respirator that I just picked up. Um, I just got this brand new, new cartridges and everything. And it's one of the reasons why I decided to do the video. I just thought it'd be a good time. Retired the old one. And I just got this one in. Uh, but the point of a respirator is pretty, I think everyone understands that it's to keep the dust out of your lungs. If you're working in a residential setting, I think that this is the way to go. You're gonna wanna have something like this when you're getting into an attic. If you're uh, doing attic work or you're cutting into siding or brick anything like that any kind of serious uh, particle dust you're going to want to have one of these on everyone's different everyone's in a different situation different job every day is different when you're doing electrical works so you might be like doing an interior remodel on an office you can go with the paper n95s with the breathable with the breathing valve those work okay and uh, when i was doing it in the past with jobs like that i would go through like two a day i'd have one in the morning one in the afternoon and uh, when you're done using it, you can actually look at it and you can see the dust that it prevented from going in your lungs. Uh, it turns out that the world's a dusty place to begin with and our bodies are designed and capable of handling some of that stuff. You know, it goes into your lungs and goes out the bloodstream and there's ways for your body can process that. But if you can help it, um, and definitely in more serious situations, you gotta kinda gauge where you're at and what you're doing. But um, you're gonna to want to do that, otherwise you're gonna be trashing your lungs. You might end up with lung disease. Uh, could end up with lung cancer. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're protecting yourself in that way. It's very important. Uh, like I said, I want to uh, see all y'all live a long, prosperous life. You know, 70 plus, able to enjoy your golden years with your grandchildren and all that. So that's that should be in the cards for everyone. And uh, you're doing electrical work. You're not gonna get there if you're not taking care of yourself in this way. Um, everything else I think is just about as equally as important. Um, there's not one here that's more important than the other, other than the respiratory thing. I think that's number one. But everything else just kind of kind of goes uh, second. Um, safety glasses. Depending on where you're at, what you're doing. If you're doing something like, uh, if you're in a job where you're working in a ceiling or something like that, you definitely want to have uh, these on. Um, all it takes is one time, you get a hook in your eye, something hits your eye, scratch that eyeball. Worst case scenario, you lose an eyeball, um, and it could have been prevented by wearing safety glasses, you're gonna have a regret. Um, and I don't wanna see you walking around with a patch, or I don't want that for you, so definitely don't be dumb, wear your safety glasses, real important. Um, next thing is a kneeling pad, okay? So when I started out, I tried the knee pads. They're just a pain. They're hard to keep up with. It's just a pain to put them on, take them off, and have to keep up with them in that way. So it just didn't work out for me. And uh, after a lot of thought and contemplation, this is what I came up with. I found this on Amazon. It's by Ulsa Tools. Um, I'm really happy with this product. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. It's just what I use. And uh, any day that you got to get down, like if you're uh, to be on your knees you're running a conduit or you got to get in this cabinet or something like that uh, having this can really make the day much you know a lot better than it would have been if you didn't and there's been numerous days where i pulled this thing out and i was just just really glad to have it made the day a lot better one day in particular i had like a 100 foot run of conduit that i was doing and it was on the side of the house that had gravel 
where uh, big rocks landscaped into it. And if I didn't have this, I would have been, my knees would have all been in that rock and it would have been bad, but having this made the day just a lot, it was a lot more enjoyable to be there working that day. And you just want to protect your joints. You don't want to be uh, 55 years old looking at getting knee replacements because your knees are all busted. You know what I'm saying? Real important, uh, taking care of the joints. You can also lay on this thing too. So like if you're like laying down, there's been a few times where I've you know been on it, doing whatever. Um, if you don't have one of these, I do recommend it uh, just to keep yourself, um, keep yourself comfortable. Um, gloves are real important, especially if you're doing like residential rough-ins and you're stripping out boxes. That's a, uh, I've done in the past when I was starting out, I didn't have gloves on. Stripping out a house, you come out, your hands will be all cut up, your arms are all cut up. And uh, it's not real cool. Uh, you know, For you can put these gloves on, you can save yourself from that. Um, you can also save yourself from uh, more serious injuries. I have plenty of battle scars to show. Um, I'm not going to get into that. I got into it on that video, Take Five and Stay Alive. If you want to see my scars, I, I showed it there. Um, but this is how I do it. I get the, the full, the full gloved. What I mean by full gloved, no like, no cutoffs or anything. And then I'll take my index finger and my thumb and I'll just chop off the very end so I can work. And that protects pretty much the rest of the hand. Um, if you can, if you're stripping wires in a residential rough, uh, having a long sleeve shirt on will help because I've cut my arms up pretty good in the past and uh, things have changed in the in the recent past I haven't been wearing the gloves as much as I probably should be but when I was younger and um, I was really getting down I, I would you wouldn't see me working without gloves and it's if you're really doing it it's more important it's important you're not going to just have one pair I got a whole box right here that um, I can just alternate between so yeah, just uh, keeping your hands right, you know, that, that just keeping it from getting scratched and then potentially saving yourself from a bigger in injury. Um, you want to be wearing some gloves for sure. Um, I have another set of gloves here. I really use these for like when I'm digging or I'm getting down into a, doing some trenches. I'll put on a pair of gloves like that. Um, what I wear every day by default, I wear a hat and I wear sunglasses, okay? It's real important to, uh, especially if you do a lot of driving or you get out in the sun, you're on a roof, you're on a commercial building, you're up on a roof and the sun's beaming, you're gonna wanna have these things. It's just, uh, if you don't, your eyes, you're gonna be getting that light in your eyes, you're gonna be squinting, you're gonna get some premature wrinkles, you're gonna be 35 years old looking like you're 45. And I don't want that, so um, try to protect your eyes, put you, put you some sunglasses on, and they're also kinda like the safety glasses in that situation. The hat will also help with the sun, and it's another layer of protection. Uh, I don't have a hard hat to show you today. I have some in my storage unit. I just don't have it here with me. Uh, I don't do a lot of jobs that require hard hats, and there's still a debate out that says that uh, there's school, two schools of thoughts. One says, you got to have a hard hat to protect your head, and then the other one says, well, that hard hat might actually cause you to hit your head, even though you have a hard hat just because you can't see when you're going up. So. I don't know, the debate's still out on that one, uh, but if you're on a job that requires you to wear a ha hard hat, you're definitely gonna have to wear that hard hat or else they're not gonna let you stay on the job. Um, but anyways, yeah, hat and sunglasses are real important, just protecting yourself from the sun and the elements. Uh, next on the list is uh, my face shield here. I keep this on the truck. This is, uh, this is really good for certain situations. If you're up in a, in a, uh, bathroom you change out an exhaust fan or something in a house put this thing on uh, what I do I'll turn my hat around like this this thing goes above it and then there's a little mechanism that will tighten up on the back um, this was surprisingly inexpensive but uh, yeah it looks kind of funny but if you're doing something like that you can also tighten it up on the sides here to kind of get your adjustment and when you're working above you change out an exhaust fan you got stuff falling what I did recently I had stuff all over this thing and if it if I didn't have this on, that would have all been on my face. Um, but it's just real important, you know, to, maybe not so much real important, but you just don't want that, man. You want to protect yourself. So having this can really, can really pay off. Keep it on the truck. And um, it's worth it. I ain't gonna, you won't see, I won't go without it. You know, I won't have a truck without one of these on going forward. 
Um, that's really it. There's some other things we can talk about, like hygiene, um, but that's on another video. I got hygiene for hard workers. Um, you can check that out. Oh, there is one other thing, uh, your, your shoes, okay? You're not gonna wanna, you don't wanna be wearing like tennis shoes or any kind of other kind of junk shoes. Uh, get you a good pair of boots, steel toe. Um, it's gonna protect your toes, it's gonna protect your feet. Get you a good pair of insult, in, uh, inserts so you're comfortable. Um, that's gonna make a big difference in your posture and how you feel. Having a good pair of shoes is real important and you don't wanna be like running a nail through your, through your foot. So you're gonna have some good thick tread boots with steel toes. Uh, once upon a time, many years ago, I was working for a guy, and uh, I'm from the Central Texas area, but we actually went on a trip up to Rockwall, Texas, which is east of Dallas. And uh, there was like four of us dudes, and we had two rooms. Each room had two beds, and I had to share a room with this guy. And uh, I was already up in bed. I was getting ready to do lights out. You know, had a hard. We had worked all day, and uh, this dude comes walking over, and uh, I was. Just couldn't help but notice but his his toes were all like purple and black and i said dude what is uh what's going on with those toes <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he kind of shook his head and i was like i was like man are you, is that all right? you all right there and like you know just i was concerned because it looked i mean it's kind of scary looking but uh he didn't tell me exactly what happened but he basically told me like this he said sammy man just uh you know make sure you're wearing hard toe get some get some good boots with some take your toes I was like, all right, yeah. Uh, hopefully that got better for them. I don't know, but they were they were pretty scary looking. I mean, um, yeah, steel toe boots, real important. You don't want to be busting up your toes and looking like that. But um, did I talk about the hygiene video? Yeah. Hygiene for hard workers. Okay, yeah, real important there too. You know, just taking care of yourself. Make sure that, uh, especially your teeth, man. You, you don't want to be getting like cavities. Uh, something else, you know, I'm just going to throw this in here. Have a good tick tester. Make sure you're checking voltage. Check it with your tick tester. If there's any chance that it might be hot, and especially if you're in a building where there could be a big load behind it, check it with your tick tester. Check it with your voltmeter. And after you've done all that, it wouldn't hurt to touch the ground. Just to be, just to be sure. Because um, last funny thing, man, you can go your whole life. You can, uh, you can eat the best diet, exercise, take real good care of yourself. And then one day, you know, you wake up, it's just a normal day, you get in a car accident or um, anything could happen, man, you get shocked and then your life is cut short. And then on the other, on the other side of that coin, you got people who, um, you know, they might smoke, drink and eat fast food every day and somehow they make it to be 75, 80. So life's a funny thing like that, but uh, I don't want to see your life get cut short. Um, I'd like to see you be a survivor, have a good, prosperous, you know, good life for you. Um, so some of it is just, you know, just be smart, be paying attention to what's going on around you, check voltage, check out what's going on. You're going to want to be just like, just looking at everything, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, just be paying attention. It's real important. Um, so I got my, I got Chris right here filming me. Chris, is there anything that, uh, anything you'd add or anything that you got missed? No, I think we're good. Okay. All right. That's it for now. Um. Uh, Again, y'all, I just, uh, just want the best for each and every one of y'all, and uh, we'll be back with another video real soon. But until then, be safe, be cool.